In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use VirtualBox on Mac to run Windows 10. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to give you easy to follow instructions on how to properly set up Windows 10 on a Mac. So to set it up through VirtualBox, the very first thing that you have to do, of course, is to download the latest version of VirtualBox. So if you need the latest version, go to virtualbox.org and you will be able to find it under VirtualBox platform packages. Simply run the installer and you will be able to acquire the latest version. Next, you need to download a Windows 10 ISO. This is going to be the installation media used by VirtualBox to set up Windows 10. So you can go to the official Microsoft website, make sure that you visit the official one and then create the installation media. It is simple to set up, you just download the setup tool and then it is going to be installed into a USB flash drive, a CD, or you can get it as a standard file on your computer. Now, open VirtualBox and you will be able to start this process. Inside of VirtualBox, first go into New. So choose the New option and you will be able to name your new virtual machine. You can name it Windows 10, for example, or W10. Then set it up in a location on your Mac and then find the iOS ISO image. So this is going to be the ISO image that you downloaded from Microsoft. Find the file and you will be able to load it into the virtual machine. With the ISO file loaded, you will see the edition type and version automatically picked, but you can manually choose if you notice any inconsistencies. Choose next, and upon doing this, you will be able to set up some additional parameters like the username and password. This is of course optional, and you don't necessarily need to have a password, but if you want to, just set up a simple one. Once you have all of these set up, you will be asked for a product key, host name, and domain name. You can leave this on the standard, so just don't put anything here if you don't have a product key and you will still be able to get it installed. And then for the host name, just make sure that you don't have any blank spaces. With this done, you will finally be able to assign the hardware part. So this is going to depend on the memory and the processors that you have available on your Mac. The more that you assign to this virtual machine, the better its performance will be. But of course, you should stick to a limit based on how much you have. So try to set this accordingly, maybe in the middle if you just want a good somewhat okay performance, or you can go higher if you want a lot more performance. This is all subjective and I suggest you do your own research if you are unsure. It is all going to depend on why and how you want to use the virtual machine. Finally, you will sign the virtual hard disk. So once again, you will have your real storage capacity of your Mac and then you will be able to assign it to the virtual machine that you've just created. You can also choose the option to use an existing one or not. And once you tap next, the Windows 10 or Windows 11 virtual machine will be created. You can tap start at any point to start using it. I hope I was able to help you on how to use VirtualBox on Mac to run Windows 10. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.